I've spent way too much time over the past few weeks making high intensity videos that require extensive testing to do performance comparisons of graphics cards and CPUs. I've spent so much time gathering the data, making the slides and graphs, and I wanted to say a big thank you to those of you who have watched those videos. But today, I am unapologetically doing something that's a lot simpler. I've had lots of other stuff arrive in the past few weeks other than CPUs and graphics cards, so I'm going to take all of those things out of the box. We have some mail time stuff, we have some other products that have arrived from vendors, I even have a bunch of screwdrivers. So let's take a look. Excellent! Today's video is brought to you by Kyoxia's ever-expanding family of high-performance SSDs, featuring their latest VIX 3D flash memory. The XG8 Client M.2 SSD is now available in capacities up to 4 terabytes, with up to 7 gigabytes per second sequential read speeds, and for enterprise or hyperscale data center use, consider the CD8, which supports PCI Express 5.0, or the XD7P, which leverages the thermal and performance benefits of the E1.S form factor, ideal for pairing with the latest AMD Epic or Intel Xeon server hardware. For more on Kyoxia SSDs, click the sponsor link in the video description. Like I said, I've had lots of stuff arrive in the past few weeks, so I've put some timestamps in the description if you want to jump ahead to something. I'm going to start off with a bunch of stuff from Corsair. I have some mail time boxes that have arrived. I've got some vendor gifts, and then I have some actual PC hardware, of course, too. But Corsair was kind enough to send some packages over uh, because... I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a new office here. And one of the things that I've gotten a lot of comments on recently is like, Hey, Paul, I like the new office. I like the new set. It's looking good. And let me tell you, this is not what I intended my set to look like. In fact, this is only maybe like halfway done in terms of the stuff that I wanted to set up back here. I got through that and then suddenly like there was all these launches that happened and I had to just sort of put all of my plans to set up the office on hold. But I will be continuing with that. I do have some more products, uh, actually some office stuff that I'm going to be showing you off as well. And I've had a few vendors who have said, hey, Paul, uh, we've got some stuff we could send over to help set up your office. So I recently emailed Corsair and said, hey, uh, there's a few things we could use. These or Elgato face cams. Really nice high definition webcams. Uh, we got two of these. Joe's actually gonna be using one because he's been doing some live streaming over on his channel. Everyone go subscribe to Joe's channel. Warning, sometimes there's foul language. And then we've got another one to use here in the office because I'd like to live stream from here as well. So two of those. What else did Corsair send over? The Steam Deck. In fact, the Steam Deck XL, which is like a Steam Deck, but with even more buttons. If you guys aren't familiar with the Steam Deck, it's really helpful, especially for streamers. But uh, Joe's actually going to be using this one, too, because we have an editing setup for him here in the office that uh, we've done a couple videos on. And this will allow him to set up a bunch of shortcut keys, macros, other functions like that. So uh, the XL version means he can do even more buttons to push. This is, of course, their power supply, their new HX1500i. Uh, and I've actually already used this. Uh, we're doing it with a little bit of test bed setups and stuff like that. So I'm not going to show you too many details of it. Uh, it's a 1500 watt power supply. It has all black cables. It's a, a similar design to a lot of the uh, power supplies that Corsair has come out with in the past. I use the uh, AX1600i uh, for all the test beds that I have. The thing that makes this one special though is actually this little box which arrived separately because it arrived uh, pretty new. From my understanding this cable will be shipping uh, with new versions of the HX1500i that come out. But this is a true, actual 12VH power cable. But basically 600 watts can be provided through this connector here, and you don't have to use one of those silly dongle adapters that uh, sticks out of your graphics card and makes things look pretty silly. And thanks to actually using uh, more pinouts on the side of the cable here that plugs into the power supply, we can plug in just two 8-pin PCI Express graphics cables to that side. And then we have a nice clean 12VH power plug to use on the other side. So a little bit of a matter of convenience, a little bit of a matter of, uh, you know, looks a little bit better aesthetically. And I guess I have to give credit to Corsair for being the first power supply manufacturer to provide me with that actual cable. Feels like a big, a big step towards the next generation with ATX 3.0 and everything. Next, we have a long box. And a long box from Corsair is almost always going to have a... Uh, keyboard in it and speaking of Joe's editing needs that's why we asked them for this keyboard oh wait no it's not just for Joe it's not just for Joe this part of it's for Joe but part of it part of it's also for me all right so one keyboard one mouse uh, the k95 RGB platinum XT keyboard 
uh, looking super pristine here. And the reason Joe likes this one is because Joe likes extra keys for editing and this has a set of macro keys along the side. So this is the one uh, we're gonna set him up with. He's been using a temporary other Corsair keyboard over there in his editing station. And uh, Corsair didn't pay us anything to say this, but Joe actually uses the IQ software uh, to control a lot of the Corsair components that can be controlled with the IQ software. Do you use it for RGB too? Or just the yeah, mostly RGB and, macro RGB and macro control and all that kind of thing. And there's a quick look at the K95 RGB Platinum XT. I like uh, some of the textured keycaps that they put on here. Switches, uh, switches feel nice. Cherry MX speed switches, uh, I've always thought felt pretty nice. They don't have the detent or the little bump at all, uh, but they're not super loud either, but they have a pretty satisfying feel. And you know, if you're talking about higher end keyboards, one of the features that I always like to have, other than RGB, of course, which makes the keyboard get way higher frames per second, is uh, a, a USB pass-through. So this has two USB plugs on this end and a USB pass-through right there, which you know, it's just one of those convenient features. I'm sure I could spend lots more time talking about this keyboard, but I have lots of things to continue unboxing. So let's move on to this one, which is for me. As I mentioned, uh, my setup over here in the corner has been sort of a work in progress, but uh, I've been wanting a wireless mouse over here to use. So Corsair provided me with the M65 RGB Ultra Wireless. The M65 is actually one of my favorite mice in terms of the feel. All right, so there's the mouse itself. There's our little USB dongle and uh, Ooh, so nice, so clean. It's even got the sniper button over there that you can use to slow down the mouse cursor speed for zooming in while you're sniping in games, which I've used like twice, but it's cool to have. And uh, they also include a few different weights uh, if I wanted to make it heavier, honestly. Feels just fine to me right now, but, uh, but I'll let you guys know after I've used this a few times uh, how it's doing for me. And Next up, I have a few vendor gifts, and these are just little extra things that vendors have sent over, either alongside products, or also possibly just because we're getting towards Q4, which is a time of the year that vendors send gifts out and say, hey, we've enjoyed working with you together, here's a little something nice. But this first one was actually sent by Intel, and this came along with the ARC GPUs. And if I could have just a little bit of criticism for Intel's launch of ARC and their marketing efforts, some of them seemed a little bit disjointed, or perhaps just a little bit like there was a marketing team on one side and like an engineering team on the other and they didn't really talk to each other. But this is actually a custom hand-bent glass neon light for Intel Arc graphics. And I saw barely anybody show this off. I think I saw Epos Vox post like some pictures of it or something like that. It's, it's a pretty cool little thing, just like something to have in the background of videos or something like that. Uh, but here is the unit itself. It is sort of twist tied into here, so I will need to extricate it. All right, so neon light, and then this has a base that powers it as well, just a moment. And then these two stands, uh, one is wall mountable. That seems to be the only difference. This one's flat on the back with a couple wall mounts. This one is rounded in the back. Why they couldn't have just shipped this one by itself and not this one, I, I don't know. It's fine, I suppose, now we have choices, but it seems like this one would have done for both options. Who cares though? I'm not wall mounting, so let's go ahead and uh, just plug this one in and let there be light. Ta-da! Okay, so uh, as vendor gifts go, this is unique. It stands out. And I think for a lot of people, having like a background set piece uh, with something like this is something that they might be interested in. But if I may say a quick word in favor of unboxing videos and little hype type uh, elements such as this, they need to be distributed and unboxed before the actual embargo lifts for the product itself. Yes, I know you guys might disagree with me there, but as someone who did do at least one unboxing video in this most recent launch cycle for the uh, RTX 4090 graphics cards that I had, there is a hype buildup pre-launch for something like that, where people are really interested in hearing more about the product, but it's still too early to share actual substantive stuff like benchmark results. In that time period, reviewers like me would happily do a quick video where you unbox something like this and show it off real quick, build up a little bit of hype, but I have very limited interest in doing something like that after a product has launched, when the hype has already been dispersed and then it's sort of on the downward trend after that when people are less interested in something like this, which to be perfectly honest has no actual bearing or impact on the actual performance of ARC GPUs themselves. And now we segue to another thing that Intel sent over, uh, although this came with the CPUs rather than the graphic. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm totally wrong. This, this, this is also from Intel ARC. Uh, this is screwdrivers, and we're actually segueing into a screwdriver segment right now because apparently I've gotten quite a few screwdrivers recently, uh, and here they are. 
they say Intel Arc on the side. Uh, they, they say the uh, size and type of screwdriver on the end, so that's useful. Looks like we got an assortment of Phillips slotted and nut drivers as well as some Torx over here. So you can also pack this one like that and it has a carrying handle, so that's useful too. Moving right along, we have a package from Be Quiet. Be Quiet has recently celebrated uh, a 20 year anniversary. I believe the celebration has actually ended like I said, a lot of this stuff arrived four or five weeks ago. Um, but this is another screwdriver, and this one is actually a Wera, Wera, Wera screwdriver, which from my understanding, because honestly, I've never been a super picky person in terms of screwdrivers, but apparently a lot of people are very picky about their screwdrivers, and there's even YouTube channels like Project Farm that get hundreds of thousands of views covering the minutia of screwdriver performance and stuff like that. But this brand, Wera, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is, uh, from my understanding, pretty highly rated uh, by Project Farm as well as other review sites. Cool, I'm gonna integrate this into my uh, regular use. And then we also have a uh, bottle opener here. Bottle openers are obviously highly sought after, highly desirable. And if you're looking at this one and thinking like, wow, I could really use a bottle opener too, uh, consider these, available for sale at paulshardware.net. Made entirely of metal, and in fact, uh, doubles as a weapon in a, in a pinch at the same time. Also has, of course, my thumbscrew logo there. So, many thanks to Be Quiet, and happy 20 year anniversary. Of course, it would not be a screwdriver unboxing if I didn't have this one too. So this is the uh, screwdriver that has really uh, made a big, big splash amongst the, the screwdriver community. I feel like I should drink a screwdriver at the same time as I'm doing that. But all right, these are the uh, LTT screwdrivers from Linus Tech Tips. If you guys have not heard of these screwdrivers, then I don't know where you were about a month or so ago because there were videos going up on them everywhere. 24 quarter inch hex bits with bit storage. It's not like one that you screw off and then just dump them all in there. It actually pops up. So kind of interesting, this sort of alternating pattern here for gripping the bits. All right, they've all been replaced now and you can see the pop out action there. And then of course, uh, the drive shaft, as you can see, get a nice grip on that drive shaft. And like I said, guys, uh, check out the Project Farm video on these if you really want like some, some full on details if you haven't seen that already, uh, because I, I do not have the uh, skill, the history with working with it or anything like that. But what I do have now are three LTT screwdrivers I guess I need to add these bits to this one as well. Continuing on with some vendor gifts, and I honestly have zero idea at all what this is, uh, although I do think that it came from MSI. I'm not sure what MSI has sent me. We have a Supreme logo on there, so that indicates to me that this was sent alongside uh, the graphics cards and RTX 4090s that launched. It opens from down here. Oh, we have, we have this. We have a stand for this. That's all, that's all that's in here. So this was to go along with the Supreme Liquid uh, Cooled RTX 4090, and it has it has a picture of that, and it says Paul's Hardware, and it has this metal stand, and I... I'll be honest, I'm a little confused. I'm a little baffled. I talked a little bit about Intel's like marketing team and their engineering team and how sometimes it seems like there's a little bit of a disconnect. How much money did this cost to put together? And how much went into this packaging? Like it looks really nice, it feels very pristine, but all of that for what is honestly like a little metal placard and I, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm typically very much of the like, don't look a gift horse in the mouth kind of person, but I, I'm a little baffled by this. MSI. I, I don't need stuff like this, to be perfectly honest. Graphics cards, totally happy with that. I'll review them, put up some content on that. This, I... It's a coaster now. <laughs> it's a coaster. That's what it's gonna be. Next up, we have a box here from Height. This one came quite some time ago. This actually might've been one of the boxes that's been sitting around here the longest. I also have no idea what's in here. Ah, it's a headset. This is the Height Eclipse HG10 headset, which I did some pre-rolls on, and I only had a brief chance to try this out in person. It's a perfectly fine headset, uh, which is why I was okay doing the pre-roll ads on it, but they actually sent me one over to try out as well at the same time. I, of course, <laughs> never opened the box and set it aside and then forgot about it, but here's the Height Eclipse HG10, and it's one of those headsets that has the uh, ear cups that can kind of rotate to lay down flat, so that's what's allowed them to package it in this pretty lightweight packaging. But I suppose, if nothing else, I can give it one more quick little try-on test there. There you go. 
What do you think? I should probably just wear this for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the video. Has a detachable boom mic, included wireless USB dongle as well as a USB Type C cable for charging. I'm making pretty good progress going through all these boxes that have arrived, and uh, I have some motherboards that have shown up too. I don't want to bloat this video too much up covering all of those, but here's a couple from Gigabyte: the B650 Aero G and the B650E Aorus Master. So just a question for you guys, and if you want to leave me a comment in the comment section down below, I'd like to do some builds on the new platforms that have launched. For the AMD AM5 platform, I'd like to make it at least a slightly budget-oriented build, and so the B650 chipset boards are the ones that seem most appropriate for that, even though these can be pretty expensive too. But whether it's these B650 boards here or any of the other ones that you guys have seen out on the market, I'd love to hear your suggestions down in the comment section for which board you'd like to see me do an actual build with. And yes, I do have these two available, although I could, of course, still go with something else. Two more categories or small piles of things to unbox. Uh, and I'm gonna go over some uh, office supplies that I've had arrive just recently. This is going to be a pretty short one, but uh, you know, I've actually been ordering quite a few things. I have a little list going, and when I think like, oh, that might be useful, I place an order for it. First off, I have some alternative casters uh, for the chairs, and actually I've already replaced this chair's casters with them. Uh, they are the rollerblade style casters, and I will say I like them better so far. They seem to be rolling pretty smoothly across the carpets uh, than the ones that come with these Corsair chairs, and there's a video on these as well when I first got them too. These, I believe, are the OG ones, the original ones uh, made by the Office Oasis. There's a bunch of other knockoff variants of these on Amazon, but I ordered a couple sets, and like I said, I just plugged the ones in on this chair, and I've got a couple for Joe's chair over in the other room too. And here's a silly little thing, which is just a wall clock, um, because it's useful to have a clock to see what time it is, but it also displays the temperature. It also takes uh, AA batteries, which I've realized I don't have any of here at the office, so I'll need to pop some of those in uh, after I grab them from home. Uh, but it shows the temperature, so I can see current ambient temperature and see if that's fluctuating very much while we were running benchmarks. And it also shows the time in nice big digits as well as a seconds counter there too, which uh, can be useful when timing things. And then we have this one here, which is, this is the ultimate like upgrade in terms of office organization. And, um, but this, this is gonna change everything. This is a big old whiteboard. So there it is, it's a combo board, a whiteboard with a calendar so we can uh, mark down calendar wise when things are happening. It's got cork board down at the bottom so we can stick funny pictures to it and memes and stuff like that. And even a little section over here for notes so I can jot down important upcoming dates. So when we're working here in the office, we can quickly glance at the whiteboard and see what's coming or what's past or, or funny memes, I suppose. Okay, we're coming down to it. This is now effectively a mail time segment because this is all stuff that was sent to my P.O. Box. You can send stuff to my P.O. Box too. It's listed in the video's description or on screen right now. It's P.O. Box 4325 Diamond Bar, California. And the funny thing about my P.O. Box is, uh, well, I mean, people, people send me stuff there, which is cool and I always appreciate it. But also, uh, I don't really have like publicly accessible email address, so sometimes I have vendors who want to send me something, but they can't get a hold of me, and eventually they just find my P.O. box and send something there, and I have a feeling that's what this first box is. So I have no idea if they saw the last time I did an unboxing video and actually showed the random product that they sent me, but this is also from Ugreen. They sent me some chargers before. I never used the chargers because I don't trust plugging something into USB that I don't really know the, the source of. This is a 100 watt DigiNest Pro. Wow, so basically it's just a really beefy like power adapter extension. So power cord, it's got a standard power plug on the top couple more in the back. And then here it's got three USB type C's and one type A. So this is basically like a fancy power strip with built in USB. And I mean, I guess that's, that's somewhat useful. And of course the 100 watt charging, uh, which means you can plug USB type C stuff into it to charge laptops and things like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what else to say about this other than that I still don't really trust plugging any USB device into a USB thing that was sent to me unsolicited. Next up, uh, we have something that I believe was actually sent by a fan. And I believe this fan also messaged me on Twitter and said, hey Paul, check your P.O. box, because guess what? Uh, I don't always check my P.O. box in a timely fashion. I try to check it at least every couple weeks, but occasionally something arrives there and I don't get to it in time and then it gets returned to sender. So if you send me something to my P.O. box, highly recommend you send a tweet to me as well, just as a reminder. Okay. One moment while I read this note. Okay, this is super sweet. This is from Robert F. And uh, he tells me a little backstory about how he built a system back in the day with an FX, FX6100 Crossfire R9 280s. 
Fell out of PC building for a while, but then got back into it and he built a system with a 10850K and an RX 580 that he later upgraded to a 6900 XT through Micro Center. And then he mentioned my video about Hero, my dog who passed away uh, back in March uh, and my video on that. And he has made a lithophane with a picture of Hero on it, which I am really excited to take out and see what it looks like right now. This is supposed to be an easy unboxing video. It wasn't supposed to involve emotion or anything like that. Ah, it is 3D printed. So that's right here. And then it has just a little adapter here with a light. Fortunately, we've just received a DigiNest Pro, so I can, I can plug this in here. So we're obviously not doing it much justice right now because I have big windows right here that's letting a lot of extra light in. Uh, so when it's dark though, and this can be used as a night light, um, it's gonna show a lot of those details a lot better. But Robert, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to do this and for, for sending the letter. When I made the video about Hero passing away, um, it, was, it was really helpful for me in terms of, of processing and moving on. And everything, um, but I still get feedback to this day of people who have watched the video, who've had similar experiences, who reach out to me and and like it, it just gets me in the feels every single time. So thank you so much for sending this over. I'm gonna bring it home and show my wife and I bet she's gonna tear up too. And now at long last, I've come to my last two packages and I know where these came from because they're labeled Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. If you're not familiar with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, it is a network of hospitals in the United States. Uh, that are children's hospitals. If you've ever done an Extra Life charity event or contributed to an Extra Life charity event, that will very often help support Children's Miracle Network Hospitals or the local Ch Children's Miracle Network Hospital in your area. Uh, they have sent me candy and some other things right there. I'm gonna open both of these so we can sort of go through everything that was sent at the same time. So I and my good friend Kyle, AKA Bitwit, have been doing a uh, yearly, and we actually switched to twice yearly charity stream. And this is actually perfect timing because Kyle and I just set the date for the next charity stream, the winter stream. We did one uh, over the summer. So if you're interested in hanging out with us while we live stream and play some games, that will be on December 10th, Saturday. December 10th is when we have it planned. Uh, so set the dates on your calendars and everything, and we will be yet again raising money for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. We have a note here from Emma from Children's Hospital Los Angeles who says, Kyle and Paul, thank you for your continued support of Extra Life and CHLA. Enclosed is some Extra Life CHLA merch as a token of the hospital's appreciation of your ongoing efforts. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. And I should reach out to her and let her know that uh, we have set a new date for the new charity stream. But all right, we've got a water bottle over here. Extra Life, Children's Hospital, Los Angeles logo on there. Pop top lid. There's always like a piece of paper inside these water bottles. It's uh, important legal information. We also have an Extra Life hat. We got a button with the uh, butterfly logo. We've got some skills here, which Joe has already requested one of. Good toss. Uh, we have a mask. It says, thanks for being a hero for local kids. Uh, Chelsea and Team Extra Life sent us a note here saying happy game day season. Thanks for your support and ongoing continued support from the awesome hardware team. And yes, like I said, we will be continuing that support soon. And I will need to bring this stuff over uh, when I go because we're going to stream from Kyle's office again. I'm pretty sure this is a cape. Yes, it is. Ta-da, with the logo there on the back as well. So there you have it, guys. My big old unboxing of a bunch of stuff that's arrived in the past month or so. It was long overdue. I, I didn't know what else to do with a lot of this stuff, but uh, if there's relevant links to anything that I showed off, I'll post that down in the video's description, as well as links to my other, perhaps more substantive videos posted in the past couple weeks, reviews of the recent CPU and GPU launches that have happened from AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. But if you guys have uh, any comments, suggestions, stuff like that, leave those in the comment section down below. You can also find the address to my PO box down in the video's description if you'd like to send me anything for future taking out of the box in a future mail time segment. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've got more videos coming at you real soon, so don't forget to subscribe. And you can also check out my store at paulshardware.net where you can find excellent merchandise, shirts, hoodies, pint glasses, and more. Thanks again for watching this video, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.